Well, hello. Welcome back to the series on systems of equations. Uh, so, so far we've dealt with solving them using the graphing method, the substitution method, uh, even the addition method. And now we're moving on to our next method, which is using the augmented matrix. So augmented matrix. So this is going to be a relatively short video because we're not actually going to solve it when it's in the matrix form. We're just going to get it uh, set up. So let's take a look at our first matrix. Okay, so our system has two equations and two variables. Our first equation, 2x minus 3y equals negative 1. And then we have 4x plus y equals 5. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to draw a line over here. And we're going to set it up into a matrix. Now a matrix starts off with having a left bracket. Now. Uh, right now, what all I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the equation 2x minus 3y equals negative 1. Now, the augmented matrix, base, it's going to represent this equation, but it's just going to get rid of the variables, anything that's not a number. Okay. So x is a letter, y is a letter, and the equal sign is a symbol. All right. So what we want is we want to keep the 2, the negative 3, and the negative 1. So I'm just going to come out and take my eraser. And we're going to uh, erase the equal sign, the y, and the x. And that's it. There's our, well, part of our augmented matrix. Let's go ahead and finish it. So notice all I did was I took the 2 and put it there from the x, and I took the 3, and I put it, or the negative 3, and then, you know, here's the negative 1, which I put over here. Okay, so let's do that with the second equation. We have the 4, we have the 1, and then we have a 5. And then we normally put this vertical line separating the variable numbers, you know, the, the coefficients from the variables, and then from the constants. And then we end that bracket, and there's our augmented matrix. Okay. Uh, so let's try another one. Our next system has three equations. So you can three, see three equations with three variables. You got the x, we have the y, and we have that z. Okay, so we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to draw a line over here. We're going to set up our matrix, and then we're going to have our big left bracket. And then we're just going to write in the coefficients from our equation. So we're going to have a 3, a negative 2, a 1, and a 6. So that's from our first line. And then we're going to have a negative 1. See how there's no y here? That's fine, because if there's no y, you can really treat it as 0y. But we don't, you know, if it's 0y, we're just going to erase it, because we don't need to write that in. But just know that if there is no y, it's just a 0. And then a 14z, so we take the 14, and then that's a negative 8. Uh, now there's no x, so we're just going to put a 0 for x, 6y a negative 2z, so negative 2, and then that 4. Close the bracket, and there's our augmented matrix. All right, so that's it uh, in this, at least in this video. And in the next video, we will start our method uh, of row reducing, which is the way we would solve this system using this matrix here.